This is a Pai Maruni Pai Kid, a Raspberry Pi retro game system. You have A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, right trigger, left trigger, start and select. Inside, if we can see it, we have a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, the Pi Kid hat, which um, connects all the buttons to your Raspberry Pi. You have a 10.1 inch LCD screen, which I believe was in the original iPads, and a 3.5 watt speaker. We also have a on off button. The pike here itself is one foot tall or 30 centimeters. It is about 10 and a quarter inches. Or 26 centimeters, and the depth of it is nine and a half inches, or 24 centimeters. Now, unfortunately, I managed to drop it, and I have chipped this corner here off, but I glued it back in. But that is the only damage that it, the pike head has. And the SD card, the SD card goes in here, power supply is back here. To turn the pie kit on you hold in the start and stop button on the right hand side. Because the, the pie itself is powering the screen, you hold it in for about 10 seconds. And it's running Retro Arch on a Supreme Pi build, and the memory card is a 32 gig sound disk. And it loads up the system. The system has installed, I'll turn the sound down, hits start, brings up the menu, sound settings hit A, volume, bring it down to about 30, B to go back, you can't hear it now, that's good. So Amiga, if you had a A, no games installed, Dreamcast, Raspberry Pi 3B will not play a Dreamcast game, no games installed. Game Boy Advance, you have all the Game Boy Advance games on it. I don't know how many hundreds, but lots, I think they're all there. Hit B to exit. Sega Genesis Hacks, these are fan made games. And there's a ton of those. B to exit. There's Cody, which I wouldn't really bother with. Mega Drive. Again, you have all the Mega Drive games. I'll try and find Sonic. You get a loading screen.
Let's start. I haven't played this game in about, I don't know, must be 20 years. And to stop again, you hold and start and select bottom, buttons on the bottom. It brings you back to the menu. Hit B, it brings you back. Neo Geo, which is my favourite system. These are basically arcade ports. And they have the... Metal Gear. Metal Slug. Loads up Neo Geo. For new Geo, hit select and search the coin, like in a cure machine, hit start, hit A. Again, hit start and select to exit, go back to the menu. If you want to add this game as your favourite, I believe you hit start, and uh, you don't hit that. <coughs> hit B to go back, hit select, edit games metadata, hit A. And you go down to favourite, turn it on, save that. B to exit. So that should be saved then in your favourite folder. It has the Nintendo, the NES system. A, and you have all the Nintendo NES games. B to go back. PC games, not installed. Pixel, it's just a desktop really for Raspberry Pi. Ports, no ports. Power, you can use this function to shut down the system or restart it. Sometimes when you add a game to favourites and you turn off the button it won't save it. So if you use it this way it will save the game. PlayStation, I've only got two games on that mainly because PlayStation uses the left and right trigger on it. This and this does not really work too well. Nothing there. There's your options. Audio controller. Retro Pi tools, the usual Wi-Fi, track mode, bezels, cheap. Scum. No scum games. Super NES. You have all the Super NES games. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Super Nintendo hacks, these are again fan games. Which I haven't really Chrono Trigger. B to go back. A link to Steam if you want to play your Steam games on it. Never tried that. Z machine. Never heard of it. ZX and Claire, no games on that. No Mac games, all games, which lists all the games. Favourites, 
And as you see there, Metal Slug has added favourites. Be the exit. Last played. Ooh. Let's have a good look at F Zero. When this machine was first built, it was powered with a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus power pack and you'd have this symbol would appear up here in the corner of the display and that was because the display screen is powered from the Raspberry Pi itself and there wasn't enough power but the new Pi 4 power packs give it an extra voltage, I think it's 3.5 volts which um, makes this disappear makes your game much better well, I think I'm a beginner all the buttons are remappable oh. So basically you have all the Game Boy Advance, all the Mega Drive games, all the Neo Geo games, all the NES games, all the Super NES games, you have Super NES hacks and Mega Drive hacks. And to turn it off, just push the button on the right hand side, and that shuts down the Pi Kid safely. <laughs> 